The Red Cross blood bank is probably one of the only banks that you ever want to go to where you constantly make deposits and uh, never have to make a withdrawal. I'm a, I'm a regular blood donor and I have been since I was 16 um, and some of you might even remember if you're from Melbourne, the South East Melbourne Blood Donor Centre where they used to make you these delicious milkshakes when you would go as a kid. But um, I have terrible veins and last week I came to the blood bank to donate and it didn't go very well and I couldn't donate. They um, tried both arms. But what kind of happened in the meantime that gets me to come back, a new campaign that they're running around Australia is when your blood gets used in a blood transfusion or as a product for somebody in surgery, anything that um, you know blood, uh, blood's used for, you actually get a letter in the mail now if you've been following along for a while you know of a little bit of a letter in the mail because it's um it's probably one of the most uncluttered places that we have now but you get a letter in the mail to you that tells you where your blood was used now i think this marketing is ex exceptionally um well thought out it's something that's so basic but when you get a letter like me um, and I've had one that said that my blood was used at the Austin Hospital, which is quite a large hospital here in Victoria. It gets you going back because you see what's going on. It's kind of like thanking somebody that's uh, giving you a referral in the business. And I, that's why it sort of popped up on my radar. But what they, um, the one that tipped me over the line, and it makes me a little bit teary, is uh, I got a letter the other day to say that my blood was used at the Royal Children's Hospital. So I don't think that any parent who's a blood donor who got a letter to say that their blood was used at the Royal Children's Hospital would not be going, well, shit, when can I go back? When can I give again? So I think it's an excellent marketing strategy, but I also, the reason I think it works exceptionally well is it's very good for the blood bank to tell you what's going on, but it makes you feel really, really good about what you're doing. You know, I felt fantastic. I was over the moon. I felt like I'd actually done something that was really, really useful. Perhaps, you know, I, you know, helped, um, you know, somebody's needing blood. Obviously, they're quite sick. So it made me feel really good about what I do. And I think this type of marketing where you're trying to get repeat clients, so to speak, um, is really powerful to to show, you know, what what results can be done with what you know, what people are doing and what they're given. So it ties a little bit um, into using testimonials and case studies and social proof. But for me, I, I was just really glad to see that they're doing stuff like this. And I've spoken to a few people who have said, oh, you know, I don't like going to the blood bank so much. Um, it takes time out of my day. But I do feel with this new marketing that they've got, there's no way that you could never, ever go back. Because, you know, when you find out what your blood's been used for, it, it makes you feel like a superhero realistically so have a think about how you might be able to use this kind of strategy in your business um, I quite often use it for my clients if they've referred somebody to me I'll send them a thank you um, you know with with you know what the outcome was for that particular client or just let them know that I appreciate it because I think a lot of things that we do we aren't really appreciated and this type of thing where you're taking time out of your day which my clients do when they're giving me a referral um, to make an impact on somebody else's life with no thought of what's in it for them I think is really really powerful so have a think about how you might be able to use that strategy in your business I write it often for my clients uh, when we're setting up referral systems because they're really really powerful um, and this is something that we incorporate we always send a thank you uh, to anybody that's referred and we often send gifts because everybody likes gifts I'm actually due for a key ring I think next time so I have to have to follow them up but um, Side note, if you don't donate blood and you want to, I would highly recommend it. Um, you never know where your blood is going to end up. And if you live near me, so if you're in the in southeast suburbs of Melbourne or you know, you're, um, you're not too far from me and you want to go to the blood bank but you might be a little bit hesitant, um, I will take you. I think it's, I go for their cookies and their coffee, um, but I also go because 
I like to think that, a, you know, half an hour of my day can make a massive impact on somebody else's life. And there's not much that you can do in half an hour that is literally going to save a life unless, of course, you're, you're a medical professional. So go out and do that. Think about how you can use the strategy and go out and think about how you might like to become a blood donor too.